morning versus theory as I drive to uh, work I always lately have been turning off the radio and just thinking things through I've been reading a, a book called a tiny Buddha uh, I'm not going to become a, a Buddhist monk or anything but it opens up the the past the thought process of of life I mean what it is it's it's a reality uh, reality check it's a, it's a good way of putting it. Um, the reality check is that that I learned in the chapter today is that society sets some parameters on who we are and what kind of people we're supposed to be in certain situations. Like, like for instance, like I, I'm a I'm a husband, I'm a dad, uh, I'm a boss. So I have all those their headings, their labels, and the problem is that when you have these, these labels and these headings, then you feel that society tells you you have to be a certain way. Like I think that uh, as a boss, I'm supposed to be this, 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 and this. As a dad, I'm supposed to do um, certain things for the kids. I'm supposed to provide, I'm supposed to care, uh, which I do. And, and I don't disagree with these things. Uh, as a husband, it's supposed to be loving, caring, giving, but where in society does it talk about what to do for ourselves? Like, have you guys ever thought about that? Like, seriously, thought about it? So, I'm, I'm a dad, and um, I, I do everything for the kids. They have everything. Uh, sometimes they have too much, and that's a fault because then they become spoiled. But as a husband, I do everything. I bend over backwards, happy wife, happy life, that whole adage. I mean, you hear that in society, and then I adopt it, and then I do it, which is, again, fine. But I like to be different. I like to be unique. And if it doesn't feel right, then we have to do that world-famous saying that scares the crap out of people, change. So when people hear, oh, you got to change, they get scared. Change. Uh, jobs, change where you live, change the way you act, change the way you dress, change anything, it scares people. Um, it's really frightening because you don't know. And as human beings, we get very complacent, we get comfortable. And I'm guilty of it. I'm definitely guilty of it. Um, I mean, I, I moved to uh, Lancaster in 06 uh, when I wanted to be in the West Coast because it would make my wife happy. And it did. But in turn, didn't make me happy. I, this place is, isn't me. My allergies suck. Um, and everyone here says that, oh, when you move to Lancaster, your allergies suck. Well, guess what? They do. Um, but I've been here for a longer time now. I have a dental practice now. So you get life and, and you get going and you get moving. And then you get to a certain point that you start questioning, like, it, this, is, this is where I am. This is where I'm just going to be. And... And you just involved in this society trap of it's just existing. So I, I don't like to just exist. And uh, hold on, I'm gonna get going here. Um, I don't like to just exist. I like to create. Um, and creating is happiness. And happiness is, is the main thing in life. Now, society will set change and restrictions on you that. In order to have a certain life, you have to make a certain amount of money, and then you get in those confinements, and then you start making that kind of money, and then you start buying materialistic shit that means nothing to you, and then you think that you have to have more materialistic shit because you start surrounding yourself with other people that have materialistic stuff, so you, you become what you surround yourself with, So, and I'm guilty of it too, so we've reached a, a, a cer certain echelon of life that we buy things that we don't need. Um, I've had things I don't need. Uh, I probably will buy something in the future I don't need. But I, I, I want to start making changes. I'm, I'm going to make changes. And, and that's my promise to myself. So that's the main thing I wanted to get out of this is that is, is change is good for everybody on an individual basis. Um, you don't want to change the life for your family. But if, if you make changes and you don't make the same amount of money but you have happiness created, I think happiness is more valuable than any materialistic thing that you can buy. Um, you can't buy happiness, you just create it. And if you're not creating happiness, then what the hell are we doing in life? So 
life is life we all have our our meaning we all have an ability to do something but we have to stop and figure it out what we are meant to be a lot of people that I know are just doing stuff that they're miserable doing only because that's what they're doing and they have to change so how many people do you know that go to work miserable wake up miserable they're married to someone and they're miserable and they just go day by day and they're grumpy and you talk to me say good morning and they're like ah this morning sucks negative people suck and I'm tired of being around negative people I'm tired of being around just unwillingness to, to changes and adapt and bend because it affects me it, it, it shits on my positivity and then I start feeling a little funky so I, I ebb and flow I, I have days I'm like alright I can do this I'm going to get positive and it's a work in progress it's not something you just say you're going to do it and you do it I mean for people who do kudos I mean good for you but it's a work in progress because everyone in this world you're surrounded by assholes and they voice their opinion and sometimes it gets to your head and I've let people bother me and get to me and I've made changes to, to try to fit in with certain situations and that's a follower and I am not a follower. I will not follow anybody who does not go on my path. I'm a leader. Um, I mean, being alpha, I'm proud of it and I've blended in certain situations and I feel uncomfortable and I ended it because I, I'm not going to let it happen. I'm not going to let other people's negativity and toxicity affect my being. So. Again, make the changes, people, that you want to do. Create the thoughts within yourself of who and what you want to be and do. And implement them. Just do them. And then you'll start to see the negative assholes in your life disappear because they don't fit with you anymore. Don't change for them. And then you'll start to see you'll create new opportunities that you want. And you'll be happy. And it's amazing when you're happy how much stuff you don't need in life. That's the key thing. You don't need half the stuff. Think about it, guys. Make changes. Become yourself. Be positive. Until next morning motivation, have a great day. I'm at work.